Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm still lost in <clears throat> Serpent's Trail, so this is the way out back to Skyrim. That's the old checkpoint there. I'm trying to get to this point where we can get to that big wide open area, because we're still looking for this um, woman's husband, Haran, or Haran, however you want to pronounce it, and it sh he should probably be down here somewhere. Now if I was really crazy, which I am, I will just drop in. <laughs> I didn't do this before. This is probably going to get me killed unless I can kind of just sort of flub it a little bit. Like, ooh, ow. Okay. Alright, so let's see if we can find, now that we're in this area, let's call down Miko and Inigo. He's not even here. Let me get him for you. Hang on. There you go. Miko, did you hear that? He's talked to you about this before. Let's use fire breath. Miko! Miko being Miko again. Let me save my game because I haven't done that in a while. So yeah, so we're looking for... I mean, we've already been here, right? So I apologize for this being kind of like a... Oh no, did it lock up? Shoot. In you go. You want to talk? No, I just want to clear my... There. Okay, let us get back to it. Thank you. Is that going to go away? It is. <laughs> just want to clear my conversation. Um, let's see. Let's go here first. Still looking for this guy. So, like I said, we've already cleared this area. So I do apologize for repeating my... Like going through all these old places again. Um, but he should be here somewhere. Like we should see a corpse or something that now since we have the quest, it should be flagged. Or maybe we just have to come back. Maybe he sided with the Stormcloaks and we can't see that now because we killed them all. Or maybe we killed his, her husband. That would suck. That'd be really unfortunate. Alessian Battleaxe, my god. Um... Now I'd feel really bad. Let's hope that's not the case. No. Wasn't I just here? Where's that big wide open area again? This place is confusing. Goodness. Okay, so this is where we had the arrows. Is there a door over here? No. Where is the big wide open area? Or the door to it? Wasn't it over here? Man, okay. We'll just keep on blundering our way through. I'm not going to keep doing this forever though. If I can't find anything, I may just do it off camera and see if I can find out what's going on. Um, but... We shall see. Because the backtracking is killer, I know. Let's see here. This is close to where they were burying the bodies, right? Yes. Okay, so that skeleton is empty. Search the hunter. Are you Haran? No. Milk thistle branch. Nope, and that's empty. Is there something in here that I was missing? Embalming tool? Is there like a pendant or an amulet or something? Nope. Search the coffin. Bronze necklace. That's new. Skull. Is that her on? <laughs> Is that her on skull? <clears throat> oh, Miko. Dang it. No. Now you're really catching me up. Alright. There we go. That was almost like inescapable. Strong box. Empty. Huh. Hand axe. Hmm. That's where we were before. It's gotta be here somewhere. Gotta be. And that's where we were. Shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so we'll go back up this way, right? Maybe? Get back to the huge room? Or now am I completely messed up? I could be completely messed up. 
Maybe. Maybe I'm on the way out. This almost looks like the way out of here. Oh. Corundum ore mine. Oh! And there's a chest I missed. What the... We should have asked the Stormcloak prisoner about him now. Whoa, hello. Nice. That was worth it. That was totally worth it. Oh, this is him. It's got to be. Yep. No. Take your ring and your gold, in case she wants it. All right. <sighs> Lie about Heron becoming a storm cloak. Oh man. Let's see what the story is first. Frostfall. Half of our legion has been ordered north of Bruma to Pale Pass to reinforce the border with Skyrim. This is exactly what Katsuragi's son did, was to go to Skyrim to reinforce forces. Not Pale Pass. He went to Helgen, but same idea. There have been pockets of resistance throughout the province to the ban on, uh, to the ban on Talos worship. That self-righteous Justiciar Armion fears that seditious thought will spread to Cyrodiil without swords to meet it, so he invoked the White Gold Concordat. I received the order from our commander this morning. I have no love for the Thalmor, but orders are orders. We depart tomorrow, and I will spend tonight with my love, Lacinia, and our sweet Elena. Celis has promised to continue teaching Elena to read in my stead. I don't think the old man has ever quite warmed up to me as family, but he's a good grandfather to my daughter. 30th of Frostfall. We've been here for two weeks without incident. However, more news traveled in from Skyrim with a caravan of Khajiit. A group of Talos worshippers have declared themselves rebels against Skyrim's High King Torig. They call themselves the Stormcloaks, yep, after their legal leader Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak of Windhelm. The Thalmor have locked down the border at that news. No one allowed in or out of Pale Pass save for the Legion supply lines into Skyrim and the Thalmor's prisoners. Now we can kind of figure out why Ulfric got caught at the border. I cannot even send word via courier to Lacinia. I watched a cart of chained Stormcloak pis prisoners pass through. It seems that a whole camp was taken prisoner. Do they know of the pain they are causing, of the wounds they are reopening? The Great War was fought and won. I love Talos as much as the next Nord, but his death is a small price to pay for peace. Celes may have been the one to push me to the Legion, but I enlisted to make uh, Cyrodiil a safer place for my family. Sun's dusk. We were on patrol when we found them. There were five men in blue garb with storm cloaks hanging from an old pine. The cold preserved their bodies well, but wolves had taken their legs. I recognized them from the prisoner's transport. That's not the same ones. We were told they were to face trial in the Imperial City. The other men looked as sick as I felt. We knew the Legion was being lied to, taken for fools. The Thalmor are no peacekeepers. They are an occupying force. Yes, they are. We cut them down and gave them a proper burial, making their grave with a mound of stones. We started back to the fort to bring the news to our commanding officer, but crossed paths with a band of Thalmor. They were escorting two prisoners, no doubt to meet the rope. We nodded at them as we passed, trying not to betray that we found the others, but they knew. As we passed them, they attacked us from behind, shoving their prisoners off the road. Only one of our men was lost in the end. Another two rushed back to the fort, na naively thinking that the betrayal would be punished. I'm sure they ha I'm sure they met the same end as the hanged men. The two prisoners were wary of us at first, but eventually admitted they were storm cloaks taken prisoner at the border. Knowing they could not return, having seen the true face of the Thalmor, we asked to join them. Ah, uh, the men spoke of a cave called Serpent's Trail. They left the mountains. We would bring us to Skyrim. We set out as once. I've been stationed here at the mouth of the Serpent's Trail for two weeks. It seems that my familiarity with these mountains makes me more valuable on this side of the border. I can't contact my family for fear of their safety, but one of our spies has checked in on them and they seem uh, for me, and they seem to be well. Word has not traveled back to them in my, of my absence. I find myself reflecting on the oath I took when I joined the Legion. Upon my honor, I swore. If I knew then what I know now, I would have spit at those words. Mead rules only at the Thalmor's pleasure. The Empire didn't win the Great War, they just postponed our death sentence. A free Skyrim is the only place left for my family. An advanced scout has snuck past the border with a message. Y'all Ulfric is headed our way. If he plans to cross the border to Cyrodiil and the Legion have caught wind, 
I may ha I uh, I dread having to turn my sword on my former legion, but I have chosen my path. I hope that the nine no, I hope that Licinia can forgive me. Wow. Dude, I have no love for the Thalmor either. So what do I tell his family? Gosh. Oh, he was right here at the opening, wasn't he? Because isn't this the... It is. Here we go back to Cyrodiil. Let's save our game here. Gosh. That means I should almost free that last Stormcloak prisoner. I don't know. So do I lie? That's one of the options. I can lie about... Well, if I tell them the truth, what good does that do them, right? Katsuragi, what would you do? You wouldn't want to get involved in this at all. You hate the Thalmor. Or maybe you would tell her the truth. I think you'd probably tell her the truth, wouldn't you? Because you don't really care about the Empire so much anymore. Not... not this empire and you'd probably care more about the fact that she would want to know the truth even though it might put them in danger hmm I don't know just don't know let's fast travel there so we don't take forever to get there Um, um, I just need to... Can I... Have the, there we go. Yes. <sighs> what to do, what to do, what to do. Gosh, this is tough. Man. It's good. Even for role-playing, this is making the decisions difficult. I... This is more thought-provoking than a lot of the stuff in Skyrim already. Um... Oh, here she is. Oh. Hi. Did you find him? Uh. Yeah, I'm sorry. He is dead. My. My daddy died. What happened? No, he was fighting the Thalmor. He wasn't fighting for Skyrim. He... You know what? He died fighting uh, the Stormcloaks. He was a true hero of the Legion. Oh. Grandpa always said that a good soldier does what they do for the Empire. He was keeping us safe. When I grow up, I want to keep people safe too. I'm not old enough to join the Legion, but I can practice. Bye, stranger. And thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to tell my mother. You might want to talk to her. She might reward you for all you've done. I don't really deserve a reward. Huh. Where is she anyway? Isn't she up here? Yeah. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't tell her. I couldn't say that, yes, he's he's a storm cloak and your entire family's in trouble. Quite an agreeable venue. Whoa. What can I play for you? I'm proud of my ancestry. As should all Nords be. Oh gosh, okay. Hi, everybody. Jeez. Uh, excuse me. Hi. Can I help you? I found Heron's body east of Pale Pass. East of Pale Pass? Yeah, I'm sorry. He's dead. I, I see. I never thought Heron would join the Stormcloaks, but this journal... Oh, shoot. Yeah, I gave you the journal. He was a soldier, so I always knew the worst could happen. Sorry. But this... Yeah. He was trying to protect you and Alina, really. Yes, I can see he believes So that. I told her that... I just wish he would have given a thought to his family before standing against the Thalmor. He did, though! What are you, what are you gonna do? I'll do the only thing I can do. Grieve with my family and try to move on. Despite this, despite what happened, we owe you our thanks. If not for you, we would never have known his fate. Please take this. It used to belong to him, to Heron. I don't want it anymore. 
You might get some use out of it, at least. 1,200 gold? I don't need that much. Oh, goodness. All right, let's go see if we can talk to Celis. Ugh! Kind of crowded in there. Um... Uh, Oh, you are you are slowly getting up those it? stairs. Um, where is he? Wasn't he down here? Although it is late, isn't it? It is. Um, <laughs> so he's not going to be around here anymore. Yes, he is. Hi. Can I help you? Oh, quest is already done. Okay, so we're good. Oh, yeah, everybody's getting tired already. That's kind of weird. Oh man, I already feel all sorts of. <sighs> I feel like a hypocrite, but I couldn't, t I mean, I wasn't lying. He was trying to, you know, serve the Empire just in a different way. He was serving against the Thalmor, and I have no problem with that. Got a lot of copies here. Oh, that's right, the newspapers. Um, gosh. All right, this mod has already made me feel mixed feelings. <laughs> so good. Oh, that's a sign of a good mod. Questioning everything you're doing in your Let's Play. Yes! Give me more of that. Okay, let's take a look. Nib and Herald. Last Scribonia novel pub la lost. 150 years after she wrote her last novel, Cassis Scribonia is still making new generations of new Imperial readers squirm with and worsening discoveries. A set of notes and rough drafts and mob. I'll let you guys read this. I'm not going to go too far. Lost novel, Magic of Dusk, was published today. Full of missing passages, hackneyed cliches. Dusk appeared to be little more than discovered fan. Oh, oh. Idle self insertion in an infantile romance with a vampire. Oh, come on. Green Emperor Publishing, not content with publishing the Gashley original notes, have taken the disastrous decision to fill in the details themselves, making the latest edition little more than a pale copy of a. Ha oh, man. That stinks. Okay. The Nibbin, because a good story is more important. Okay. So, if you guys want to back up and stop that, you can totally do that. Um, let's read this one. Oh, outrageous affront to the sensibilities of the culture is simply the latest blow in a string of intellectual and artistic attacks from a ferociously pro-Clovian -Clo regime. The current establishment was openly withdrawn from... Blah, 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 blah. Oh no, they're losing their funding? Would you rather see your children brought up in blood and gore of the arena or the heroic tales of Topol the pilot? Topol the pilot, nice. Uh, let's see, and... What else do we got here? I thought there was a couple other ones. Where was it? Uh, Black Horse Courier. Near in theater to close. I think this is the only one I didn't. In the earlier days of our Grand Emperor's reign, when civilized life flourished in the Great Renaissance, the Nern Theater and other large works of art and culture were viable as publicly funded institutions. Unfortunately, due to a severe lack of public funds, the Empire has made with a characteristically heavy heart the decision to close the theater. Blah, 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 blah. Aww. In these trying times, reconstruction, the production of food, and the reparation of relations with our new partners in the Aldmeri Dominion must take pre- uh, However, the White Gold Tower does recognize the importance of a culture of the- <sighs> no, Excuse me. Alright. Well, let's keep on trucking here. I've got a little bit more time before we do anything further. Um, do I want to just rest outside here? I don't really want to get a room. Although I probably could. Who are you? Hey everybody, I'm recording this quick because, and it's going to sound a little weird because I've got it going through my speakers, but the game did crash, and um, so I, I lost my save all the way back to the bridge before we got there, so instead of talking to Licinia first, I talked to her father, and oddly enough, what happened was you can persuade him into being able to give her the journal, and then he pays you seven fifty for it. Um, so I've got the burden of truth on him. I told him we should tell him the truth. I did not talk to the little girl yet, um, and now I went straight to Licinia, so they can decide what to do on I their see. own. I never thought Heron would join the storm club. He was a soldier, so we always knew the worst could happen. Yes, I can see he believed that. I just wish he would have given a thought to his family before standing. I'll do the only thing I can do. Grieve with my family. If not for you, we would never have known his fate. Wow, okay. Please, take this. It used to belong to him, to Heron. I don't want it anymore. You might get some use out of it, at least. Okay, so what is she really giving me? 1,200 gold? And that's just it, right? Yeah, that's it. So just the money. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the video here. Because <laughs> now I've gotten back in the game. So let me save, because I lost it. It had a hard... I tried to... Uh,
After you saw me talking to the guy sitting on the bench out there, this what this this guy here. Here, let me show you the conversation you get if you talk to him. Tell me more about yourself. It gets a little bit weird. He tries to give back. Oh, this is okay, actually. Yep. Okay, tell me about the Jukani family, which is, this is the one whose dog I gave away, so he already told me that. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Battleborn! Alfred Battleborn! That's what I'm just thinking he's saying, almost. It's almost what it reminds me of. Okay. Strive for bigger and better things, not to sound like the priest Saint Martin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye. He's a little weird. Any go? Something on your mind? Nope, just clearing okay. it so I Oh what really? Look, dude. I don't need anything. Oh, there we go. That cleared it out a little bit. Strange. Yeah, the dialogue got a little funny there for a second. So now let's go over here and let me save my game. So now we were actually back to where we were uh, when I lost it. Not too bad of a crash, really. I just tried to wait in the area and just do it, uh, just uh, do T to wait the timeout, and it didn't want to come back. So we will save our game. I'm gonna do what is it? Zero seven zero nine twenty seventeen, and this is like what save twenty or something like that. Okay. So at this point now, I'll cut the video here. So thank you guys for coming along. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying Beyond Skyrim Bruma. And next time we'll be going on. And this time we'll uh, go into the actual castle Bruma, which I haven't done yet. So we'll take a look at the inside of the castle, see if we can pick up some quests there, and see what else we can discover and get what other else trouble we'll be into. So, Inigo, any final thoughts? You want to talk? Yeah, you have anything you want to say? I'm afraid not. That sounds good. So we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. We'll see you later.